guys, Vivi Chan here and welcome back to my channel. So we are finally getting back into the Attack on Titan. We are at the pinnacle, we are at the climax, we are going into the end game. We are at the season finale part two, the actual last couple episodes. I don't know how long this season is going to be. I am so excited. I'm scared. I'm excited. What is Eden gonna do? Is he actually gonna go through with the plans? Like, I have so many questions. I am scared. I only know that some people didn't like the actual ending of the manga. But other than that, I have no idea what is going to happen. And I think to make things easier, I'm just gonna split up the parts into sections so it's easier to watch. Yeah, and uh, okay, it's time to get into it. I'm so scared to click, but uh, it is now or never. Let's get into the episode. Oh my god, it's just finger bits. It is so eerily quiet. I mean, the shock for Hanji. Oh shoot, that I thought uh, the Zeke in that Titan would have gotten away. Oh, shut up, Flock. I flippin' hate Flock. What the hell? Please don't even... And then this is where Zeke will appear. But I, I'm still shocked about L Levi. There he is. It's like a new baby being born. <laughs> He's like butt naked there. He looks totally different without glasses. Oh, she jumped in the water. I don't think Levi's dead. He can't be dead. She just said that to throw them off. Did he lose his memories? Could that be the Ymir? That looked like the coordinate. Give him some clothes too. Okay, Eden versus the Marleys. I hope none of them get squashed underneath. Well, there's a lot more people under there than I thought. Yeah, they're all gonna turn into Titans. Oh my god. Is that like a cannon? Yeah, are you gonna transform or get out of there? God damn. <laughs> I know she had to do that, but damn. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that part was in the trailer. Hmm, I think he'd want to fight though. Anyone equipped, ready to take out the incoming... Yeah, he ain't listening to anybody. He got his own plans. Because he hasn't said anything in most of season 4. Will Reiner have some kind of plan? You guys better bring your Thunder Spears and uh, ODM. This is between him and Reiner. They got a showdown. They got to finish this. I really hope Gabby doesn't get the Armored Titan power. Oh, I think that's the thing on her back for the cart titan. Wow, the commander actually really cares. <laughs> Fig's voice is like super interesting. Creepy, but you can't stop listening to it. I like how it sounds. They don't know about the royal, the royal blood. Oh no, she remembers. She's gonna tell. I feel like they're gonna figure it out. Magath said there's something up with his blood. Yeah, and it not wasting any time. Defending and hitting at the right moments. Oh, I want to see Eren use the Warhammer powers. Then again, Jaws... But he's not alone. Oh, that did a bigger blow than I thought. They did say their weapons are getting stronger. Enemies' uh, weapons are strong enough to take on Titans. Oh, from the air as well! Hmm, well, it's you guys against the world. Goddamn! Oh, I thought for some reason it'll cut to Zeke and them. Oh, he's gonna let him out? We need your help, guys. We need manpower. Mm. Connie's got a point. We could have talked things out, but you guys kept things, too many things hidden. It's hard, right? Right now, you guys have been betrayed so many times. It's hard to know who's telling the truth. Ah, oh, man. Right now, everything is like such a mess. What are we gonna do? Hmm, I don't know, because she was protecting him even before he had the Founding Titan. Because we saw Zeke's side, we never actually heard Eden say anything. It just, we assumed Eden agreed with the plan. It's possible Eden has a change of plan. Yeah, it's his to use. Yeah, Eden probably thought it's his only chance. Okay, that was some crazy music. No offense, they keep talking, but is anyone gonna actually go and help Eden? I didn't think- Damn. 
it would take that long. I thought Eren would have just taken him out with his Warhammer abilities, like, really quickly. You know, Jaws and Armor doing a good job holding off Eren. Oh my flipping god. Preview, I came from preview. Yelena is just crazy, man. Sneak attack. <sighs> Goddamn. Okay, let's stop right here. Well, that was some episode, man. It always just feels like five minutes passed. Like, I remember last season at well. I was like, that was not 20 minutes. Five minutes, it, that's what it feels like each time we have a new episode. That's why I would like to binge it, but at the same time, the hype is real. I want to know what happens as soon as possible. I know there's a manga, but I don't want to read the manga. I want to watch it in the anime. Anyways, we start off this episode with a huge bang, literally, the explosion from Zeke's uh, thunder spear thing, and uh, body parts, fingers are everywhere, Levi is heavily damaged, maybe not even alive, but I do think he is alive. I think Hanji was lying to Flock, so she could just make a quick escape, because if he was actually dead, wouldn't she just leave his body? And she refused to let Flock check his pulse, so I think there still might be some hope. I, I would not believe it if Levi is dead. It isn't, isn't he like everyone's favorite character? Him and Mikasa, the Ackermans. So I'm just praying Levi is barely alive. I wonder if an Ackerman can turn into a Titan. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I'm just wondering if it's possible he could take over a Titan. Although, I mean, besides Armored and Jaws, I think Peek will still keep her card Titan. I just feel like Armored and Jaws might get their powers taken. After Hanji jumped in the river with the Levi's body, they see the Titan transforming out into Zeke, and like Zeke, load and behold, cock, ass all out, just naked in front of him, and he's just like, let's go look for Eden. I was thinking that Beast Titan would show up at the very end to protect uh, Eden. Yeah, because I did not expect Eden to get that much damage, but I am pretty sure that since the whole world is pretty much against Parody Island, they probably had help from, I remember last season, I mean, you know, the very first episode of uh, season finale. We were up against the Middle East Alliance and like, you know, their artillery, their weapons, cannons was able to pierce through the Titans. So I'm thinking they gathered up more soldiers and they upped their weaponry. And they were able to do more damage to Eden than I thought. Cause I was thinking, oh, Eden has Warhammer powers now. He would be able to stop them easily. And for a moment, kind of speared through the Armored and Jaws Titan. Armored and Jaws were still able to get out and like Reiner was able to pierce Eden. And Eden took a huge bullet to like near the head. And so that part kind of shocked me. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that the Marley side has gotten, has got help from like other people around the world. Cause when Willie Tiber, 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 like uh, declared war, like the whole world can hear, everyone knows what's going on. I'm sure they can like get more people to like join their cause. You know, they had 500 people, 500 soldiers, I think is what Onyan Kopon said. So that's a lot more people than we thought. And like the new Eldians, us in the parodies, what do we call it? Some of us are damaged. Some of us are locked up. Some of us drank the wine and then, you know, everyone is everywhere. No one knows who to trust. Everything is a mess with the government and the people. And uh, and I felt it when Connie just rushed out and like grabbed, grabbed on Yonkopon by the throat. Like, you know, are you trying to betray us? Like, you know, we don't know who to believe. Like, Bert told Annie, Eden now. Like, he's all over the place. It's very confusing. Plus the fact that they knew the euthanization plan. So Connie's also like, we want to help Eden with this plan. So then they're thinking, oh, maybe Eden is still going to go through the rumbling. Like I said, Eden hasn't exactly said anything. I feel like Eden might be, might have a different plan. Like Armin said, you know, it's Eden's choice. It's Eden's choice to use his power. Once he touches Zeke, you know, he can get what he wants. I'm sure like he's, he doesn't want to sacrifice Historia. So he, you know, the only other person is his brother. Or like in the opening, you can see a part where Eden is on top of the walls and he screams. So I'm thinking maybe that's the part where the rumbling starts. Like, I'm just glad the opening didn't give out too much. I mean, we see the Titan, colossal Titans within the walls kind of like start the rumbling. Like we kind of saw that in the previous season and they give us a preview of all the Titans just like out starting the rumbling yeah i feel like you know while they're all talking underground like the fight up there is is not looking good for the parodies eldians like we're getting slaughtered i don't think slaughtered the word we're just i think most of our most of our soldiers got shot and there's like so much blood and body parts everywhere i kind of already forgot what the preview was yelena like 
you know, she reveres Eden so much, so she doesn't believe Eden will get taken. But then, but then again, she did send the people to like protect Eden. But you know, Marley got the soldiers down below. I, I didn't see the soldiers transform into Titans, so I think they're just regular soldiers parachuted down here to shoot. I keep saying our side and their side, but at the same time, I'm like, whose side am I on? Like, there's so many like different sides right now. Like I want to be on Eden's side, but is he on the same side as Mikasa and them? Like I think they're just, they don't really know yet. The, yeah, and the last time they had a talk with Eden, it didn't really go so well. And oh, I feel so bad Mikasa was like, I want to help Eden, but I think it's because I'm an Akka man. Yeah, so I just felt so bad. But Armin did tell her, I think Eden was lying. So maybe that because I, I do think Eden was lying. I think he said all those mean things so then they can get off his back and like just give him some distance. And oh yeah, there's a part where Zeke, he was in like some coordinate place. It's the same place where, where when Ymir changed back into a human, she saw like this like beaming light and like the connecting paths, the rainbow lights. Yeah, so, and it looked, Zeke said like some little girl was covering. I think that's like the spirit of the first Ymir. Since this is his last year, he's already like, nearing his end. So maybe they'll explain more on that. The little girl was like covering him in sand. And it, he said it felt like years went by. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this reaction. Feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. I think I'll read the comments very slowly. Yeah, just in case, right? And yeah, see you guys for next reaction. Peace out.